Welcome to The Wine Chemist. In this series, we'll be breaking down the elements of wine. And in this episode, we're focusing on acid. Be ready to brace yourself because our spotlight wine is the ever polarizing Chardonnay. Love Chardonnay? Hate Chardonnay? Wanna know why? Acid. All wine is acidic. But what kind of acids are in wine? At harvest, grapes contain malic acid. It is bright, crisp, and tart. If you want malic to be the acid in the finished wine, like most white wines, you need to treat it because it is microbially unstable. Malic acid will naturally convert to lactic acid over time, and in some unfortunate cases, in the bottle. We stabilize using either cold treatment or sulfur dioxide, and that gives you bright and stable malic acid-filled white wines. But on the other hand, if malic wants to turn into lactic, why wait for it to happen? Let's force it. This is called malolactic fermentation. We can introduce enzymes to force all malic to become lactic, a very stable acid. This is done to almost all red wines. Now these reds can age without microbial instability. In general, whites tend to have malic, reds tend to have lactic. What does that mean when I'm tasting? Here's the last bit of chemistry. Malic has doubled the acid effect as lactic. There are two carboxylic acids in malic as opposed to one in lactic. That changes the texture of the wine as well as the body. So malic-filled Sauvignon Blanc is bright and crisp, while lactic-filled Merlot is velvety and round. You might be thinking, is there a varietal that can be used to make both a malic acid wine and a lactic acid wine? That's Chardonnay, our spotlight wine. This hearty, multi-climate loving, non-aromatic chameleon of grapes is famous for doing both and everything in between. Malic acid is the acid in green apples, while lactic acid is the acid in dairy. When Chardonnay contains mostly malic acid, it has bright fruit, green apple flavors, wet stone, and minerality. When we perform malolactic fermentation on Chardonnay, we add texture, body, and a buttery feel. Another option is to have partial malolactic fermentation. Think of this like milk, skim milk versus whole milk. The higher the milk fat, the creamier the drink. The higher the percentage malolactic fermentation, the fuller the Chardonnay. Winemakers may vary that percentage to better balance acid, flavor, and body. But use caution as our senses may deceive us. Buttery does not mean oaky, despite the fact that they are often tasted within the same wines. When exploring Chardonnay, be aware that both oak aging and percentage of malolactic fermentation are different factors in flavor and texture. Now that we know the different acids in white wines, let's put it to use. Time for food pairing. Imagine tasting a Granny Smith apple. Our taste buds take it all in and we are experiencing 100% of the effects. The apple sugars are there and so is that malic acid. But our second bite, we don't feel the same effect. Our taste buds are getting fatigued and oversaturated. And by the last bite, it doesn't feel as sweet and as sour as we first experienced. But imagine if in between bites, you shocked your taste buds with lactic acid. And we feel that acid at 100%. We saturate those taste receptors with lactic. And now when we take a bite of the apple, we are back to 100% malic, just like the first bite. Back and forth we go, resetting our palate and getting it ready for the opposite acid for maximum flavor. We will simply apply this concept to all white wine pairings. Think of the acid you are serving in the food. If it features bright acid, pair that with a soft acid containing white wine. If your food is lactic acid based, pair that with a highly malic white wine. 
In this episode, we learn some different acids in wine. Malic acid, the green apple acid, is seen in youthful, bright, and crisp whites, while the textured and stable lactic acid is found in most reds for body and ageability. We learned the many faces of Chardonnay as it benefits from both malic and lactic acids. Chardonnay can have full texture and body, or be bright and crisp, and both styles may or may not be oaky. Finally, we learned the best way to pair white wines with our food is to focus on the acids involved. Opposite acids enhance both food and wine. Until the next time on The Wine Chemist, here's to experimenting with wine. Cheers. Now get out there and drink some Chardonnay. <laughs>